Ryan, this question is for you. So you've been talking with us about outdoors ministry, which you've been steeped in for quite a, ne a number of years now. Can you share what's unique about this particular ministry with youth and the benefits that you've seen come from it as opposed to other sectors of ministry? Yeah, there's uh, a lot more than we can squeeze into this moment in uh, the power and impact of outdoor ministry, but two beautiful things that happen at camp that are a little unique are at camp you've got campers coming from different places. So they may have a youth group they're used to, they may have a school group they're used to, but at camp you, you, a new community forms. So part of what happens in that is campers get to be who they are in that moment or maybe try on who they think they're becoming or who they want to become. And so there's a real unique opportunity to both be your full and authentic self because you no longer have the expectation of being the soccer player or the great musician or the wonderful theater person or the little sibling of so-and-so who went to school before you. Instead, you get to be you in that community in that moment. And so there, it's, that doesn't happen very often in any of our lives and especially for young folks. And then a part of that community, another piece that's really unique is worship comes out of that community. In most of our settings, we have worship professionals who are designing worship for us and they're, they're doing pastoral visits and they're um, in the committee meetings, but it's actually the campers who have formed a new community with one another, whoever God is calling them to be in that time, and that's what worship is. And so worship comes out of that uniquely inclusive Christian community and their authentic experience. So it, it's in some ways, it's the inside of each participant of worship actually getting to worship outwardly as a community. And there's just a really powerful opportunity to, to experience the spirit moving in ways that the campers like, oh, did I say that during worship? Like, didn't know that was within me. And so there are just incredible moment, God moments that happen there as the young folks are finding themselves. And it also happens with staff too, with our volunteers and with our staff as they're stepping away from their busy lives and putting down the weight of work um, from other settings of their life for a moment to just be fully present with these young folks who are really exploring who are they, who are they becoming, and what does it mean to be forming a community for a week or two in a profoundly new way. Yeah, and in a profoundly new way, I think, you know, that it sounds to me like you're taking everyone out of their normal context, right? And it, it's almost this, you know, fruit basket upset kind of thing where mm -hmm. everyone is in a new place together with their same gifts and skills that they bring in other places, but they're trying to figure out what that means to be community together. And it puts everyone on a, on kind of a level playing field. It really different. is. Yeah, it's a great leveler and it's unique because uh, campers that have come many times, you might think they have an advantage, but if they get set in remembering what last year's experience was, it can actually be harder to, to fully delve into that new community than for the camper who's never been before because all they've known is that moment. And so it really is a powerful leveler. And there are lots of things you don't do in other places that happen at camp. Um, how often do you walk a quarter mile down a giant hill to a lake for a picnic on Friday? with a hundred other young people. Like we do that on Friday and then come up the hill for the most ridiculous basketball game ever that no one is good at and no one really wins. And so there's just so many things that really turn your world upside down. And how many people have worship every night of the week? Um, and so just everything and how many people eat with 300 people at a time other than during school? Uh, so there's there really is a lot that kind of um, gets you out of your routine and opens up for the spirit to move in new ways, to lay down some of the things that may be weighing you down because you can be present in the moment in unique ways because everything really is very different. And it's a lot like a mission trip in that way that your context is different, where you're staying, the work you're doing is different and the people you're serving with and alongside and learning that community is really new too. Mm -hmm. 